Let me tell you about one of the worst countries in the world. Its capital is one of the least livable cities. Incredibly polluted and one of most densely populated. Traffic is insane. Poverty is just everywhere. Some of you have been asking me for a video about Bangladesh. And I can't help but ask why. Is there even anything good about Bangladesh? Wow, Night Farm, it's actually quite difficult to say all of these bad words. But sadly, every negative thing I've said is what some people instantly think when they hear the country Bangladesh. They think it's black-minded third world country with no power. But let this video prove you wrong. This is what the world never knew about Bangladesh. First up, I bet most of you don't know that YouTube was co-founded by a Bangladeshi German. Yes, the two billion people from all over the world who use this platform have to thank Jawed Karim, who even uploaded the very first YouTube video. Still on the internet, would you believe that the largest internet school in the world, which has educated over 10 million students, was also founded by part Bangladeshi Salman Khan and the the longest female-led government in the world also in Bangladesh. In fact, female Bangladeshis are so efficient and hardworking that 80% of the country's workers are actually women. Now, I am personally excited to know that Bangladesh is also a welcoming place for vegetarians like me. So much fresh fruit around, it looks so good. No wonder it's also one of the least obese countries in the world. And from keeping healthy, to keeping peace. Bangladesh is also a major contributor to the UN peacekeeping operations, having the third largest military in South Asia. Now, Night Farm, here comes the most impressive of all. Bangladesh was once the second poorest country in the world, but now it's one of the fastest growing economies. See, only three years after becoming an independent country in 1971, extreme hunger killed 1.5 million Bangladeshis. Add to that the fact that the country has always been hit by massive floods. For a long time, Bangladesh was incredibly poor and politically unstable. It's never easy to rebuild your country when things are so difficult. But because bad past doesn't mean bad future, Bangladesh made an impressive shift. Not only in fighting poverty over the years, but now being a model for development for the rest of the world. Because of its booming garment industry, some people call Bangladesh the next China, economically speaking. After all, it's one of the top exporters of clothing in the whole world. And having all of these positives in mind, the land of Bengals certainly deserves much more respect than the world gives it. As someone who comes from a highly underrated country of Poland, a very globally unpopular country where so many people don't know much about it, I am very passionate about giving credit to countries for their positives. Bangladesh may be a young country. And of course, it has so many things to work on. I could literally make a full video based on just the negatives, but why would I do it? There are so many people already who just focus on the negatives. This video is different. The fact that Bangladesh managed to become one of the fastest growing economies literally from being the second poorest country in the world may Bangladesh be the voice of all the underrated nations that are on the way to the top. <laughs>